Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Friday the 11th of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying yourself. Uh, in a day when headline news and in recently the, you know, the headline news is so awful. People dying in wars and wars look, look like they're unending. And uh, you know, horrific uh, weather patterns that are disturbing people's lives. Uh, the Guardian's come up with another funny story. I think there was one I thought was humorous this morning. There's another one from Germany here. Austria, actually, I think. No, Germany. Take it back. Um, <laughs> the headline is 18 treated for severe nausea in Stuttgart after opera of live sex and piercing. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, 18 people try, uh, watched the show over the weekend. Uh, sorry, 18 of the audience who watched the uh, show at the weekend were <laughs> treated for severe nausea after having to watch a performance that included live piercings, uh, actual sex, and lots of fake and real blood. <laughs> man, oh man. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, it does tell us the uh, actual plot. Um, and uh, um, what else was it? <laughs> uh, uh, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, the um, recommendation is uh, <coughs> uh, to avert your avert your gaze. It says, <laughs> if in doubt, when you don't look. Basically, if you go to the show and it's getting a bit hairy, you know, or I didn't use the word hairy, maybe <laughs> scary <laughs> or rather nausea inducing um cover your eyes just don't look uh now the show was virtually unknown before this headline appeared uh, but is now completely sold out well what do you expect <laughs> of course people <clears throat> right let's get on with the game of sudoku show this is new york times hard level puzzle start with sixes blocking down <coughs> excuse me in this fashion here what else do we know <clears throat> um. <clears throat> okay we've got four blocking up here up here and across there Five blocks down this way and this way. <coughs> <That's good. coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Give me a five in this square. Five across here and across here means that this is a five. Well, it's a slow start from me. So let's try and see if there are any obvious things that I haven't yet noticed. Looking for the obvious things.
this is looking tough. <clears throat> Uh, I didn't see anything on an easy start here. I'm just trying to go through what are what things are possible. Oh, I think I've got something in this row here. <clears throat> I'm not sure though. Three, five, six, seven, nine. I think three, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah, and five, six, seven, nine there. So that's going to be the three then. So now we have threes blocking this way, that way, and down here. Five across this way and five up here gives us a five there. Six across there means that's a six. We're left with seven and eight in those squares there. Seven, eight, nine missing from this column. We've got seven and nine together. That's an eight. Eight and five here and here puts eight and five into those squares. Uh, I already know this is seven and nine, so eight and five here. Does that help me any? I'm not sure how. Uh, we'll just look down here. I don't think this is going to do anything, but anyway, eight and five. So in the other squares, we're looking for one, which is down here. Ah, oh, yeah, two, two, um, two blocking this square and this square so that's in fact a two so and then the one blocks here that's going to be a one and we know this is eight and five so the missing number here is uh, seven and this is nine and now we know nine blocks this square here so that's going to be our seven and our nine will be up here this was eight and five so this is one two uh, one, two, seven. Not much help there. The missing numbers down here are three and six. Definitely no help there. Uh, but anyway, after having a really difficult way in, seemingly, managed to found to have found something. Uh, but there's still a long, long way to go with this Sudoku puzzle, I guess. We've got sixes across here and across there. That's going to give me a six in that square. The missing digits over here are mm, seven and nine again. Seven, nine in those squares. We have one there and there. One, four, eight, isn't it? Ah, okay. So missing numbers across here are one, four, and eight. We've got one and eight attacking that square there, so that's going to be a four. So one, seven, nine. The seven nines are uh, seem to be uh, a partner at the moment, partnering crime here. 
We've got a one and eight over there. Uh, actually, let, let's see. We've got one and eight over there. We've got seven and nine here. One, eight, seven, nine. So this is two, four. I've forgotten. Two, four, five, is it? Two, four, five. Four there, five there. The twos, I don't know. Uh, four blocks both of these squares here, four blocks this square actually in this column. That's got to be a four. have our s 9 and 6 like this and like this so over there we have 9 and 6 we have a 6 there and a 9 there just FYI okay let's see if we can find anything now that's changed and looks easily grabbable These are only in those squares. Ah, uh, six blocks down here and six blocks across here. So six is either here or here. So that can't be six. That has to be six. That has to be three. So three across here and three down here will give us three in that square. Seven across here and seven across there. Eight blocking this square and this square. Six blocking this square. There's a six. This would be a four. Four across here, across here, and down there gives us four. And the last digit to place here is nine. Nine blocking up here. Nine across here. And nine is in one of these two squares blocking across. So nine will be there. And the missing digit here is seven, I think. I'm gonna to have to look in this top left. I think. I think. I think we've got to look in this block here because everything else is spoken for fours. That's what we can do. Four across here. Four across there. Four up here and four up there. Six across here, across here, and up there, and up there gives us the six in that square. Nine across here, as I said, the sixes and nines before up here, so that's how I knew to look for them. Now, nine down here, nine up here, there's our nine. Uh, seven blocking up here, there's a seven. Missing digit here is a one. Last number to place up here is. 
eight, I think. Eight across here and up there will give us eight in that square. So actually, I was complaining that it was really difficult to get started. It was difficult to find a way into this morning, but once you get started, I don't think it's too bad, is it? I think there isn't much left to do, and I have a feeling we're not going to be stuck um, finding logic puzzles at this point, although I could be wrong. I've definitely been wrong many times before. What are we looking for up here? We're looking for um, three. Yes, yeah, so we got three blocking across there. There's the three and the last digit up here. Seven, I think. So we're left with one, two in those squares. We're left here with, oh, that's one, two as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, one, two, seven. So now I've got to look in this block over here. Let's see what we're doing. Uh, what have I finished? Four, six, and nine are done. Let's look at every other digit and see if we can spot anything useful. Where are the ones? They are in those squares there for sure. Could be anywhere there. Okay, how are we doing on the twos? Same thing here, of course. And there, and there. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so two blocks across here, two blocks across there. So two in these squares here. So we can only look for twos in those squares, meaning this square can't be two. So in the top row, that has to be two. That has to be one now. One block's down here, one across there. There's our digit one. The last number to place here is a three. Three blocking up up and in there uh, one blocking up here and down there gives us one in that square and at the end of the row here what should we place shall we put an eight why not seems to be the correct choice eight blocks down there there's an eight and the missing number here is two two blocking up gives us two there the missing number here is five five across there and five up there gives us five in that square there and the missing number here is seven so it just goes to show you doesn't it, it doesn't the start and the finish can be completely different sometimes you start very easily and it takes an age to get to the end and vice versa missing number here is two of course two across there there's our two and we can finish with an eight so a very straightforward game for a Friday. Thank you for the thank you to the New York Times for supplying it. Thank you f to you for joining me, and uh, I'll see you around. Take care. Bye bye.